today we are doing something very fun very fun in my opinion at least uh, so I built a pond in my basement okay I haven't shown it to you guys yet but it's a six foot by six foot by two foot deep pond um, there's a liner in it built it out of four by fours uh, got a really nice filter on it I've kept fish in the past I've kept reptiles uh, snakes and lizards and frogs and fish so I built this pond and it'll hold about 540 gallons roughly and today we're gonna stock it it's been cycling for a couple weeks and uh, I put a filter from another aquarium that I had in there to speed up the cycling process and uh, I've got a few crawfish in there right now um, and a few like smaller fish that I had taken out of my other aquarium um, but we're gonna catch some fish for that pond today and uh, we're down here at the creek I've got some really tiny 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 hooks so um, I've also got a net so we're gonna go down here and uh, see what we can catch I'm thinking maybe rock bass or long ear sunfish uh, potentially both I really want to put a bass in this pond but I think I'm gonna build another pond which is just psychotic already of me to be thinking about that but anyway uh, let's get down here and let's start fishing Wow, these shiners are going freaking absolutely nuts. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, that's a really freaking pretty long year. Yep, that one is 100% going in the tank. Alright, so we've already got one long ear sunfish for the pond. Um, that's what I was mainly going for. Maybe a small rock bass as well. Um, but I'm gonna keep fishing and I'm gonna try to show you guys some of these fish I'm selecting for the pond. I'm gonna show them to you obviously when I release them into the pond, but they are super pretty right now. Their colors are super vibrant. So yeah, let's get back to fishing. Ooh, another really, 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 really pretty long ear sunfish. <laughs> Look at these things, man. It's so freaking cool. Look at these fish, guys. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, little buddy. All right, we're going to go ahead and put him in. This is a green sunfish. He would do pretty well in the tank. They're just... Honestly, they're savages. They eat everything. And I feel like they probably wouldn't get along too well with the uh, long ear. Obviously, in there. they're in this creek together, but if I'm gonna do some sort of like fish like this that's known to be kind of like a predator <clears throat> in the sunfish world at least, uh, I think I'm gonna do a rock bass. Grab another mealworm. Oh my gosh. Another one, guys. Look at this. Look at these fish, man. They all look like this. They're all just beautiful colors right now.
another green sunfish. That's a big one, or a big one for what I've been catching. Little tiny hooks. Funny, these long ear sunfish are actually chasing the bobber every time. <laughs> They're chasing the bobber more than the freaking actual mealworm or waxworm, whatever. So one just swam up right here. He was freaking super pretty, super colored up. I'm gonna try to get him. He's right there. Oh my god! Oh my god! This one is so freaking beautiful. Gosh, y'all. Look at this. Look at that one. That right there is insane. That is legitimately insane. That is, that is crazy that that is a fish that you can catch in fresh water. Alrighty guys, we are back at the house and uh, this is the pond. So, as I said before, it's about 540 gallons and uh, right now I've just got a couple crawfish in it and uh, a couple danios. So, um, it's looking pretty good. Again, six foot six by two foot deep. I've got a couple floating plants in here. Uh, I've got some stuff in the back over there. Uh, some philodendron. And then I've got some structures made for these fish to be able to hide. And a pretty big filtration system on this thing. So, um, I'm going to get these long ear sunfish acclimated. Um, I'm going to use the method that I saw on Bama Bass's uh, recent YouTube video. Um, acclimating his smaller fingerling bass to his pond. So, <clears throat> I'm going to use that method to acclimate these fish. And I'm going to get some shots of us releasing these fish into the new pond. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so we've been acclimating these fish for 30, 40 minutes or so, and uh, we're gonna get them added into this pond. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys each one of them. This right here is actually a fish I'm really excited about. Look how pretty this fish is. This is a uh, northern stud fish, is what this fish is called. He's a little bit feisty, but my goodness. Isn't he cool? Well, yeah. There he goes. These guys are a little bit fired up, but um, get them all in there. All right, these are all long ear sunfish. They're a little pale right now, but. That is a beautiful fish. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna he look great in there. Look at him; they're already going over there to those rocks. There's another bigger one in here too. There's another little baby. Most of these fish are near the same size. <clears throat> There's only two that are a little bit bigger in there, and hopefully they won't, you know, fight or whatever. Here's another little northern studfish. Yep. Look at that. Dang. That is a freaking beautiful fish. Oh man. He's feisty, all right. <laughs> Last one. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Get in there. All right. Well, hopefully these fish do all right. <clears throat> we took a good bit of time to acclimate them. So, hopefully they do all right. And uh, hopefully our other little fish in here don't get eaten, but they probably will. So, probably do an update on this pond here in the next couple weeks. Hopefully all these fish make it. Should be pretty cool. Catch you guys on the next video.